Hey everyone, Coach Powers, and I just want to do a quick positive video and let you all know that no matter what you're going through, no matter how bad your day is or how bad your month or year, no matter how bad this journey's been, no matter how bad your symptoms are, and they can be unbelievable. I mean, you could really think you've done permanent damage on so many levels. I want to tell you, as a as someone that's gone through this, who's come off a 10-year dependence on 40 milligrams of benzos, who dropped 20 milligrams overnight and had a his own mini cold turkey, so to speak, uh, reaction, who fought his way back over two to four years to get healthy, um, and now having worked with thousands of people from literally all over the planet. I mean, all over the planet. I work with people in Norway, in Australia, in China, in France. I work with young people and elderly people, men, women, transgender. I work with people who were on benzos for a short, short period of time, and I've worked with people that were on benzos for 40 years at high doses. And I can honestly tell you guys, healing is real and everybody heals and you will heal too. And I know you're thinking, but coach, my, you don't know my story. My story's different. My story's worse. We all feel that way. We literally all feel that way. And as a benzo coach, it's one of the most prevalent things people say to me when we have a, you know, when I have a new client as well. Brace yourself, coach. I don't think you've heard this story or this, you know, my story is different. And they're not. They're really not. I mean, I've called it the archetypal story. You know, something happened. Some knucklehead doctor put you on something. Some knucklehead, you know, that maybe you were on it for a certain period of time. It stopped working or the doctor ripped you off. All hell broke loose. It's some shape, form or fashion that, right? That is the story over and over again for the most part. But I've heard it all. I've heard people that got on it for no, you know, for reasons not outside, you know, outside of mental health. It was, it was because of a sleep or it was because of some procedure. It doesn't matter for whatever reason you were on it, how long you were on it, what dose you were on it. Healing is real, and you will heal. And I and believe me, doing this work as long as I have with as many people and seeing the stories that I've seen, even cases that I went into and said, "Wow, this person, they're they're really in bad shape." They recovered, they healed, they continue to heal. So I want you to feel that. I want you to know that because I think when you look in these forums and you look around the community, you don't always see that. And it, you know, if you don't believe in your recovery, if you can't foster some faith in it, I think it just makes everything so much more difficult. You know, you I, I really, I really, really truly believe you have to feel and and sort of open yourself to the possibility of recovery. That's how you, you know, that's how you retrain the limbic system as well during this process, which is a major, a major part of this, right, is that limbic system and training it to understand that, yes, we're sick. Yes, we're wounded. Hell, we might even be poisoned. But we're not in imminent danger. Are, we are going to survive this. We are going to heal. We will make a full recovery. No, we didn't do permanent brain damage. No, we didn't do permanent cardiovascular damage or insert, you know, one of the other hundred things you might have read or been f afraid of. You know, the limbic system needs to hear that this is just a process and it's it's a horrible process. It's a it's the worst. There's no doubting it. It's the absolute worst. But the brain is damn resilient, my friends. I mean, you could be born with half a hemisphere and the brain will do its thing. You could have a massive, in, you know, injury where, you know, a huge portion of your brain was damaged or removed and the brain can relocate it can re you know that's what neuroplasticity is in a sense is the ability not to just regrow but to adapt and change and there's no other organ in your body that's that um miraculous in its ability to adapt and change and regrow and yes you can regrow your brain up to ten thousand neurons a day using neuroplasticity training right so the potential to recovery absolutely is there for all of us and, and like I said, I've seen so many positive stories. I, I wish I could just make a collage of the things I've seen and the recovery. Because if you, if you guys could see it, you would not doubt your recovery at all. You would just say, oh, uh, there's the evidence, you know. And that's what motivates me because I've seen the evidence. I've seen the mountaintop. Um, and I see it every day, every day doing this job. So just want to give you that for what it's worth. I know some of you will hear that and still think, yeah, but I don't know, maybe I'm different and maybe there are people and I read about John Doe in the forum and, you know, don't do that to yourself. You, you know, John Doe's story is not your story. 
and everybody has different variables and this thing there's there's so many pieces to it you know what was the pre-existing condition if there was something what was there trauma was there other drugs or my message message to you all is it doesn't really matter you can heal if you really want to heal if you really are willing to dedicate yourself to your recovery the possibility the near uh, dare i say the probability is th is through the roof you're going to be fine so please open your mind open your hearts and allow that allow that change allow that recovery to take place but if you're asking me as a benzo coach with a lot of experience a hell of a lot of experience i would say more than 99.9 .9 percent of you i can tell you what i see in my work on a day-to-day -day basis does not re uh, does not reflect those groups it literally does not reflect those groups i mean when you look at those groups oh my god the picture it paints right i mean it really is the outliers of the outliers and the people that get better, they don't come back and they don't tell their success stories and they don't share it. They just get the hell out of there and they don't look back. But it doesn't mean just because we're living in this sort of bubble of benzo uh, suffering, it, it really is painting for you a, a false image of what's going on. So I want you to know that and I hope you can feel that and I hope you can sort of, uh, as I always say, unlock the window. You know, if you want a window, unlock it first. That's all you have to do is just unlock it, be patient and keep your head up and keep keep up the, the good work, my friends.